How's it going guys? So, hope everybody's doing well with the coronavirus. Um, just wanted to give you an overlook at a tank that me and my best friend recently rescaped. As you can see, the old gravel is still in there, but we got some black gravel, um, some new fish, as you can also tell. Um, so I made a video, at least I think I did, about this. I ordered, mail ordered some fish. Let me point them out to you. So the little gold guy back there, right there, that's one of the gold Pristilla Tetras that I got in the mail. They're all doing well. Same with these barbs. And these guys, these guys are getting huge. So what I accidentally did when I ordered the fish is I thought these ones right here would get up to an inch. And then I went back and looked and because the order form said that they would get up to a foot. So I, you know, called customer service. Sure enough, these guys will get up to a foot. I'm so glad I only got three. Um, in the long run, I'm only keeping one. Um, but this tank is doing really well. Um, and even with uh, so much, so many fish in the tank, um, I've never had a problem with algae. Um, it actually looks really crowded in here, but it's really not. Here, I'll give you a top-down look, and you can see that there are pretty large spaces that don't actually have fish in this tank. Am I getting any more fish? No. And for all the people that are, you know, going to call me out on this. I've been keeping fish for about six, seven years now. Um, and yes, even for me, this is a lot of fish in one tank. They're not all going to be staying. I'm just kind of using it as a bit of a grow out to see who I want to keep and who I don't. Um, also, a tip for beginners, if you have a dark fish that is really skittish, I have a darker Placostomus in here. Um, he used to just hang out on the sponge filter. What I figured out, and this is like, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I put black substrate in and he's now been hanging out, you know, around in here as well. Um, but you know, yeah, not all of these fish are staying. I haven't had any problems, except for that one garami up there, uh, of fin nipping. He is a brand new fish, so he has received it, but he's starting to heal. And, yeah. So, just wanted to give a quick update and give you guys a look. I hope everybody's out there is healthy, and have a good day.